At the end of the last episode, I requested your feedback on whether or not we should sign Paolo Dybala. And the vast majority of you did want me to sign him, so he is the main transfer target today. 80 million, pretty expensive, but he's worth it. He's absolutely fantastic in this game, so let's bring him in and let's make the squad even better. Also, I do apologise that it's been a couple of weeks since the last episode. If you can smash over a thousand likes on this video, I'll make it up to you by making sure that the next episode is a bumper one and we'll have at least 10 games in it. Anyway though, let's sign up Paolo Dybala and let's make sure we win the treble this season. That's what we're going for. Let's do it. And we've just been notified that Manchester United have made an £85 million bid for Antoine Griezmann. It's a transfer that I'd like to see happen in reality, and hopefully in the game it will happen too. I'm not entirely sure why he's on my shortlist though, as I'm not a massive fan of him in the game, but there you go. If he does go to Manchester United, that'll be a brilliant bit of business for them. Apparently Juventus want more money for Dybala though, so let's try again. They've asked for 99.5 million, that's pretty ridiculous, that's not happening. Let's try 88 million though, and hopefully they'll say yes. As expected, 88 million was enough to convince Juventus to sell Dybala, so Paolo Dybala, welcome to Real Madrid. Espanyol have made a bid for Lucas Silva, don't really have any plans for him, so let's just accept it. And Real Batiste want Bergui, once again no plans for him. Let's just let him leave. Time for the European Super Cup now then. Taking on Schalke, they must have won the Europa League. We won the Champions League. And as a result, we're going up against each other in this one. And look at that size difference. That is absolutely mental. Anyway though, let's get into the game. And let's see if we can pick up a victory. Here comes Cristiano now then. Plays that one forward to Philip Coutinho. Takes on his man. Plays it back to Cristiano. Come on, lads, let's get a goal here. Whoops, see you later, mate. Coutinho's on it now then. Plays that one to Tony Kroos. What can he do here? Takes on his man. Moves that through to Lionel Messi. Has a shot of goal. That is one of the worst shots I've ever seen. It was on his right foot, but that was awful. Coutinho's on the ball now then. Plays that one forward to Cristiano Ronaldo. Uses his strength. Tries to take on his man. Goes down. And thankfully, he's not injured. I thought he might have picked up an injury there, as sometimes that does happen. But on this occasion, it didn't. And it's a very good thing too, because I do not want to lose Cristiano Ronaldo. I also don't want to go a goal down. So come on, boys. Defend this nicely. We don't need to defend it nicely. That is a terrible shot. Mbolo's on the attack now then. Not for long, though. Carverhouse closed him down. That was poor play from me, though. Decent ball over. Come on, boys. Get it away. Good stop by Donnarumma. Carvajal's on the attack now then. He's going to try and thread this one through to Messi. Really nice ball there. Make it 1-0. He's hit the bar. Schalke have got a good opportunity now then. Can they make this one pay? They're looking decent at the moment. We've not done anything for a while in all honesty. And that is a fantastic ball. Good block though. Well done lads. Get rid. Johannes Geis is on the corner now then. Plays that one to the edge. And that is the worst clearance of all time. Cristiano, you need to up your game mate. Schalke on the ball now then. They cross that one over. That is a terrible header from Huntelaar. Should have done so much better there. Let's bring on Paolo Dybala for his debut. And let's do some serious damage. Hazard's on it now then. Moves that one forward to Cristiano Ronaldo. Can he get there? No, Naldo gets there first. Naldo is apparently faster than Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, Carvajal's on it now then. Moves that one forward to Messi. He's going to play that inside to Paolo Dybala. Come on, mate. Let's get a goal here. Paolo plays that through to Cristiano Ronaldo. Dink it over the keeper. Oh, it's just over the bar. Messi's on the attack once again now then. Pushing his way forwards. Come on, let's get a goal here. He moves that through to Luca. He's going to play it back to Messi when possible. Good pass there. It somehow finds its way back to Luca. Let's move that through to Tony Kroos. Tried to bang one. Got blocked though. We've played that on to Eden Hazard. Takes on his man. What can he do here? Launches that one over. Decent ball. 1-0. Nice little cross there from the Belgian. And Tony Kroos was on it at the back post. Giving us the lead in the European Super Cup. Here comes Marcelo now then. Plays that one forward to Hazard. Turns that inside. He's going to move that one through to Paolo Dybala. In fact, it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now he's going to play that through to Dybala. It's got to be 2-0. Oh, he's not scored it. Here comes Messi now then. Plays that through to Paolo Dybala. He moves it on to Eden Hazard. Going to play that back to Dybala. Got to be 2-0 this time. It's not. Come on, lads. Get a goal here. Oh, how's he missed that one? We just weren't clinical enough in that one. 
Thankfully though, Tony Kroos did find the back of the net with his header, and it was enough. We've won the game 1-0, should have been about 3 or 4, but never mind. A win's a win, and I'll take it. We've won the European Super Cup, and I'll now let the lads celebrate. Enzo, you may well be the son of an absolute legend, but you've been sold in reality, and in the game, you're on your way to France. And Tajero can leave the club too, it's only half a million, but he is 21 years old already and only 64 rated, so doesn't really have a future with us. Liverpool want Marco Asensio though and I've got no intention of selling him whatsoever. Donnarumma wanted more money and he's turned down the contract they offered him because he doesn't think they'll be a crucial first team player. Mate, you're 85 rated at 18. Why are you so lacking in self-confidence? Of course you're going to be the first choice keeper. Have it your way though. Let's pretend like you're a squad rotation player. Anyway though, time for the first league game of the season. Let's pick up another win. Messi's playing on the wing today. Paolo Dybala's playing through the middle. And he's on the ball now. Plays that one on to Cristiano. Come on, mate. Good tackle. Paolo Dybala just take a shot at goal. Should have played it to Cristiano Ronaldo. I wanted to score something spectacular though and completely failed. Oh, Ramos is on the corner, floats that one over, and that is not the best corner I've ever seen. Good tackle though. Tony Kroos moved that on to Paolo Dybala. Come on boys, let's break on him. Heavy touch, get a tackle in there though. Nope, here comes Carvajal now then, plays that one down the line for Messi. Terrible ball control. You're supposed to be the best player in the world, mate. What was that? They've had about 15 corners at this point. That one doesn't work out, and they've got another one. This is getting ridiculous now. They've had so many chances from the corner spot and they just keep wasting it. Messi's on the attack now then. Fred's that one through to Paolo Dybala. He plays it through to Cristiano Ronaldo. Really nice move there. Got to finish that off. Oh dear, my shooting is so bad. Here comes Cristiano then. Plays that one through to Paolo Dybala. He moves that one on to Eden Hazard. Moves it on to Cristiano. Come on boys, let's get a goal here. Cristiano turns that one back. Looking for support. Moves it on to Marcelo. Nice shot there, but good stop by the keeper. It drops for Messi this time. It goes down in the box, and we've got a penalty. I wasn't expecting that. I thought he'd just gone down a bit lightly there, to be honest. He's a bit lightweight. Hasn't got much strength. Let's take another look at it on the replay. Does it really deserve a penalty? Probably. So up steps Cristiano Ronaldo to take this one, and he scores it. They've won yet another corner. Decent ball. In fact, that was a terrible ball. I don't know why I thought that was decent. It was awful. Anyway, though, let's play that one forward. Move it on to Messi. Messi's going to play it on to Cristiano. Poorly. Tony Kroos is on the ball now then. Plays that one out wide to Lionel Messi. Takes on his man. Moves that one through to Cristiano Ronaldo. Fantastic finish. We've made it 2-0. Our passing accuracy wasn't exactly great, but at least we picked up a victory. Lucas Hernandez has come up as a transfer suggestion, but not Theo. In fact, there is a Theo, but it's not quite the Theo that I was talking about. The chief executive is trying to play it cool and suggesting that we don't know much about Mbappe. Sure, mate. Sure, Real Madrid haven't been looking into him. Final game before the transfer window closes now then. Going up against Espanyol. Let's get out there and let's win once again. Hazard's on it now then. Plays that one to Tony Kroos. I was about to pass it to the ref then. Then realised he's not really on my team. He's not on my team either though. Luca's on it now then. Moves that one forward to Messi. He turns it inside to Paolo Dybala. Marcelo is making a fantastic run there through the middle. What can he do? He's going to play that one across... Not a good ball. I wanted to pick out Paolo Dybala, but he tried to play it to Cristiano Ronaldo instead. Paolo Dybala's on the ball once again now then. Can he finally score for the club? He's going to try and play that through. He gets it back. It didn't really work out, but never mind. Moves that one through to Luka Modric. Not a bad effort. I think we've won a corner. We have. Let's play this one short to Hazard. He's going to try and whip it into the back post. Decent delivery there. Unlucky Sergio. Tony Kroos is on the attack now then. Plays that one through to Paolo Dybala. He spots the run of Cristiano Ronaldo. He's going to try and find Messi here. In fact, he hasn't played a pass at all. He completely ignored the ball. What is going on? Paolo Dybala's on the attack now then. Lovely ball there to Eden Hazard. No one's really getting forward with him though. So he tuts that inside. Plays that one across. I think I said tuts that inside rather than cuts it. But never mind. Cristiano messes things up entirely. Gerardo's on it now then, whips that one over, decent delivery. Well done boys, we've just about managed to get rid of that, but they've still got hold of it. Come on, hold firm at the back, nice play. They've hit the post, that could have been a goal. 
Very close to being one, in fact. But yes, well done, boys. Here come Espanyol down the wing now, then. All of our defenders have been pulled out of position. This isn't a good move, and they're going to score. They've made it 1-0. We've gone behind against Espanyol. We should be winning, but currently we're losing 1-0. Not good enough, lads. Not good enough at all. To be fair, looking at those stats, they were the better team. They left so much space at the back, though, and we should have punished them for that. We didn't, though. We've lost the game 1-0. And that is massively disappointing. I'll finish off the episode on a positive note though. And sign up Mbappe from Monaco for 5 million. I think he might cost a bit more than that in reality. What do you reckon? Anyway though, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. And I'll catch you again next time.